Costco. We have cucumbers, spinach, blueberries, and then two of these, my favorite, the salmon fillets with the pesto butter, lobster bisque, and lastly, this is pretty exciting, acai bowls. We were in Hawaii for our family trip. We, oh, what is the name of that place? Island, no, vintage, Island Vintage Coffee. There were so, oh, their bowls were so good. I mean, we had actually tried a lot of different acai bowls and theirs was so good, so I'm excited to try these. Um, yeah. Okay, so, um, I hope this angle lighting is okay. But I want, I don't know if we're gonna go full makeup rundown. Those are kind of boring. They also take a long time. But I'm gonna share some things I've been using that I really like. Um, the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Foundation. I bought this earlier, like last year, and I used it a couple times and then I must have just got distracted. But I pulled it out again because it's anti aging, skin smoothing, invisible coverage. I say all those claims are legit. I have two layers of this on. I think it looks so good. I have no highlight on. Uh, I just want to pull it out for winter and it's really good. I have the shade Light. If you look at the ingredients, it's basically a mountain of silicones. I don't mind because they look really good on the skin and I haven't, they haven't clogged my pores yet. I haven't broken out from it yet. My skin has finally recovered from travel. I am someone that doesn't really like exhibit like, oh my God, my skin is now total shit because I was on a plane. But this time it was, I had a ton of like texture here. I had a zit that was so large. Actually, I don't know, you can see like a little bit, it's like flat now, but I had like a situation there. Everything is healed now. I had a little bit of texture up here too, but I think it's because usually when I have a long flight, I tend to choose a flight where there's a layover. I like layovers. Some people like direct flights. I am like, give me a layover so I can like stretch, pee, eat, breathe normal air. My skin can decompress, like all that stuff. But this time it was maybe like a 13 hour flight and I had a layover. However, it was such a short layover. It was like about, an, it was supposed to be like an hour. But by the time my first flight landed, I had about 10 minutes to pee grab a coffee and I was back on another flight. So, and you know, I think when I was sleeping, I was kind of like this a lot and my hair was just like all up in my cheek area. So it like, I had a lot of texture here, which is now, whatever, is this important to the story? Other than to say I'm like really happy about where my skin is at right now, it's like all back to being like the way I'm used to seeing it. So love it. Underneath it, I use the Glassy Balm, Glassy Skin Balm from Touch and Soul. I got this in a boxy charm sometime last year. It's really pretty. I like all the Touch and Soul primers I've tried, and all of them have come through boxy charm. So it's a container like this. That's what the balm looks like. You could probably easily use it as a moisturizer. Um, depending on the climate and your skin type, but I just use it as a primer and I think it's really pretty This has a little bit of radiance anyway and then compounded with this. It's very glowy as you can see Concealer is the hello fab bendy avocado concealer. I have this in the shade 3 again very pretty I like bought this because everyone was like very into it and then I don't know if I like really liked it that much but when I used it today, I was like, I love it. I think it's so pretty. So just very interesting to see how things can change. Uh, eyeshadow, we're not gonna go over. I really, I don't know. I think I used like a bronzer today for eyeshadow. Um, and then for actual bronzer, it's the Huda Beauty Tantor in light. I have been so into using this and only this because it gives this like really beautiful, do we see this? Like glowy bronzy look. Ooh. I love it. I uh, like this shade because it's not super warm and it's not super cool. It kind of, I don't want to say neutral because it does still bronze my skin, but I love it. I like apply it with like the rodeal foundation brush and then I blend it in with like a sponge, a dry sponge. For eyeliner, which I really love my eyeliner today. It is the Physician's Formula Waterproof Eye Booster. Not so much that the eyeliner is like amazing, but I actually, I tried to pull it in just a tiny bit 
like in the center i don't know how long it's gonna last but it definitely does like that elongating i love that look when people like draw like it in further but i my eye shape really isn't conducive it doesn't naturally like look seamless when i do that because i have a fold but i did a very very tiny flick and i think it looks really really good okay so off of ulta for the lips i think these are still on sale if they're not, then, well, they're $6.99 at Ulta right now, and I think that is, like, the original price, probably, at, like, Target and Walmart. Um, they're the Revlon Super Lustrous Glass Shine Balm, something like that. I have three shades here to share with you. Now, the packaging, hold on, let me find the right one, is beautiful. You have this kind of beautiful acrylic-looking case it says revlon on top in the gold and it's just really a beautiful beautiful component so this is actually a beautiful formula i have two gripes the packaging the label on it is some bullshit okay let me show you if anyone reviews this and they don't talk about this they're just like very kind human beings and have lots of patience because you know what though I have a lot of patience and I was very irritated by it. So this is what the tube looks like. The label, it spans most of the tube and then it wraps around pretty much the entire thing. Trying to remove this is just really going to try you. Like you're going to be tried with this. Then once you remove it, you have this sticky stuff all over and it takes forever to remove it all when you finally do remove it it does look like this so my second gripe with this is the shades what you think the shades are gonna look like isn't really what it's gonna look like so I have two open this one is in the shade nude illuminator and it looks like this I guess it is kind of nude on me it goes a little pink uh, but pretty. But do you see how, like, it's quite pink? <laughs> and I like it, so I'm going to keep this one. And so that's what that one looks like. And then the other shade I have is called Toasting Glasses. <laughs> Let's remove that. So Toasting Glasses... To me, suggests it might be like some kind of like cool toned, maybe tan, something like that. No, it is. It looks brown, which is fine because this formula is a little translucent. But this is not the color I'm thinking it's going to be. There's a lot of pigment to this. And it's not like a pretty tan that I want it to be. Anyway, so that is my second gripe is the colors are a little confusing. So this one is actually glaring coral. I don't like the word glaring. Why? It's not a positive word. Anyway, I was hoping it's going to be some kind of like really beautiful orangey color, but I feel like it's going to be like way too intense and not what I was expecting. So if you like that, these are, it's like they're sheer, but they're very pigmented, if that makes any sense at all. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be picking up any more shades. I do love the formula. Okay, so negative. The formula is awesome. They are so good. There's no weird scent. Um, you Once you get past the removal of the label and the somewhat surprising uh, color reveal on your lips, I think you'll be fine. Uh, but I have these two shades and I don't know. There were no swatches yet. These are like very new. When I actually got them from Ulta, they were like in these little things, which I thought was really cute. This is another shade. I think it's Rum Raisin. I'm not even gonna open it because I know it's gonna be like way, way, way darker than I want it to be. Another item I picked up from Ulta is the Physicians Formula Natural Defense Concealer. It has SPF 30, which is why I was kind of really intrigued. I'm usually not excited when Physicians Formula releases complexion products because the, sh the tones are weird. The shades are always, it's like too dark, too light. Uh, this is too light for me. I generally can buy the shade light, uh, but I'm going to grab light medium. It has the component the way Charlotte Tilbury is, where you can like open it to release product and you close it to 
close it off so you can't squeeze it out um i can't tell if i like this or not because when i applied it i had it on yesterday and i was gonna film and then i didn't but it looked very dry and accentuating of not cute stuff and i think it was because the shade was too light so i'm hoping like the right shade and then maybe i'll like it it's one of those ones i really couldn't tell and i i think it was the shade so that at this point i have ordered the makeup revolution powder foundation in the shade six for the second time and again i got the shade 12.2 i think when i check the barcode the barcode actually is um on the packing slip for shade six so i think there's just like an error as far as the website goes so i don't i don't want to have to do the whole like contact customer service and have them send me the right i don't know 12.2 isn't even on the website which is even weirder anyway i just thought i'd mention that in case you are my shade and you have tried buying this i think it's not in stores at least it's not in stores by me it might be an online only thing so i don't know i feel like am i gonna get to try it I don't know. That's it for makeup. I do have some PR to share with you. Maybe I'll grab it. Okay, first there's this little travel kit. This actually came before the holidays and I just didn't know that it, it was in my um, mailbox or PO box. So this keeping tiny detox scrub. I always keep mini exfoliators for travel because always want to have them. The vitamin C concentrated serum, excited, love vitamin C. If you're gonna do two things, do a retinol at night and a vitamin C in the daytime. Like that's just what I think is the most like simple and effective. Hydrating night cream, I will probably give this one away. This is a mirror. Okay, so these two items I'm very excited about. So blue light shield concentrated serum. I was reading the ingredients for this. This is it's more or less like a moisturizer. It protects against blue light. However, this spray, when I was reading the ingredients, you have water, denatured alcohol, which, okay, fine. But then you have witch hazel, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid. Okay, I'm not focusing anymore, but I'm really excited for this. It's a spray. Like, how fun. So I'll probably give this away. Oh, actually, there's this anti-wrinkle treatment oil. Um, I think we'll also give this away too. Uh, I already have this and I've used it, so I still have like somewhat of a bottle left. Good molecules. I am so excited for this. So, um, Serene over at Beautylish, super sweet, contacted me and was like, hey, do you want to try out good molecule stuff? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with your cleansing balm. I'm like, I have a third left, so I'll have to repurchase. So she basically asked what my goals were or like, what do I want from my, like, what is my skin type? And I was like, you know, my goals are brightening, even tone, hydration. So we have the Daily Brightening Serum what the main ingredient in this is beta arbutin hyaluronic acid okay yay then we have the actual hyaluronic acid okay yes very excited for this i have started to kind of derma roll my neck and i need a hyaluronic acid so i'm very excited for this i've been using like random products with hyaluronic acid so i'm very excited for this for the face and the neck the silicone free priming moisturizer oh that's interesting and lastly is the niacinamide brightening toner i actually have like a very mini of this that i've been using very close to being out so i'm excited to have a full size i love this so it basically has vitamin c arbutin and niacinamide which are all great for brightening again like i said vitamin c during the day this i think is like nighttime you know like am and pm so very excited for this. Thank you to Good Molecules. Lastly, we've got something from Pixi. This is like a huge thing. <laughs> um, 20 years of glow and it's super cute. Looks like this. Okay, big news. They're now at Ulta, like full on. Like I like went on the website this morning, like Ulta, just cause I check every Sunday to see like the new arrivals and everything from Pixi was on there, which is so exciting because 
Not that Target isn't accessible, but Ulta makes it so, I don't know, it's just easier to shop through Ulta when you're kind of like thinking about skin or makeup or whatever. And they're one of those makeup brands where their skincare, I think, might be better than their makeup. Not that their makeup isn't good. I'm just not, not drawn to necessarily uh, a lot of their makeup products, whereas I am extremely into all of their skincare. The Rose Ceramide Cream. I actually have this, so I'll give this away. The Glow Tonic. I also have so many of, so we'll give this away. The Glow Mist. Okay, this one is the Glow Mist. I don't think I've tried this before, have I? I'm gonna try it. Um, then you have an eyeshadow palette. Their shadows are really, really nice. This is a full-on glowy palette, like there's no mattes in it, but the colors are not so much my colors. They're like neutral cool, and that just never works for me. There's like a better view of it. So we're gonna give that away. Okay, the Endless Silky Eye Pen. These are so good. This is a black one, I'm keeping these. If you love a good eye pencil, you don't want it to tug, you want some rich color, this is what you want. So good. Matte Last Liquid Lip. From what I hear, this is a very good formula. I might give this to my sister-in-law, she does matte lips. And then lastly, looks like a lip Lift Max O Lip Plumper. Ooh, I will try. Okay, so I'm trying to like read about this. It looks like line filling, super hydrating. It has jojoba and chamomile. It's supposed to have a cooling sensation. I don't know, I'm excited to try this. We're gonna do a giveaway on the Pixie products, the Derma E. Actually, I'll include way more stuff. If you wanna be entered, uh, just leave a comment. It's pretty simple. It will be US only because I don't wanna try and ship you know, these liquids and a glass bottle internationally. So sorry. So you just gotta be subscribed, leave a comment below. I'll choose randomly. Uh, yeah, giveaway time, good luck. Okay, so kind of random, but in my last video, was it the last one? Someone asked me about this necklace. It's actually my grandmother's necklace and on the bottom I have like a little Buddha on there. It's been like, you know, blessed in a temple in Bangkok and whatnot, but so, I don't know if this is a funny story or not. Maybe it's just funny to me. But when I usually travel, I will wear one of these and I did not <laughs> for whatever reason this time. So while we were in Hawaii, I woke up from a dream and I literally, okay, should we back up? I have two fears. I don't know if I should be sharing my fears, but they're like very weird. I think weird fears. Well, one of them is more rational. So the first one is this, <laughs> and that is if I am peeing, or I'm on the toilet and a snake comes through the toilet and bites my things, my lady parts. I know, is this extreme? Okay, so at first I always thought I was like, it was the weirdest thing. I've never told anyone this. But then I was on Instagram and I was scrolling through and one of these like memes was like, I'm not weird. Like someone else also feels this way. <laughs> so that's fear number one. Fear number two, much more rational, is that while I'm closing my garage door, someone is gonna slip inside my garage and like come into my home. Like I have had this fear for a really long time. So when I was in Hawaii, I woke up from this dream and it was that I was in a house. It was a really huge house because this garage just like, Let's say I'm standing here, the garage spans like what looks like another house. And I'm closing the garage and this woman slips in and comes right up to the wall like next to me. I can't see her, she's like wearing all black, she has black hair, I can't see, it, it fucking, I lost it when I woke up because that is literally, you know, people have dreams about like falling or people dying, no, 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 no. <laughs> I like lost it, so. I, again, like I traveled and I did not have one of these with me and like these call me, like they really, I can go into like a really long extended thing about like when I was living in India and Dubai, like I have a lot of when I like visited Thailand, I have like a lot of like, sometimes I see things, <laughs> sometimes whatever. So I did not have one of these, but I knew my brother did. 
and we were sharing a room and I knew that he like removes it before he goes to bed because he also has like a really long chain. Actually, his chain is my chain. I gave him my chain when he wanted to like start wearing his. <sighs> anyway, long story short, long story long actually is what it's becoming. I grab my phone, I'm like frantically like shining this light all over the room trying to look for like his Buddha and his like chain. Pop it on and then go back to bed. Like I super intensely shook. Like I, <laughs> anyway, that's the story. So usually when I have bad dreams like that, which I've actually not had a dream like that before, it takes me a really like months to like recover from that. Like I still have like flash PTSD basically <laughs> from having that dream. So I will probably be wearing this for quite some time. I've, I've graduated to only wearing it at night before bed. Sometimes I'll just leave it on during the day just, you know, cause it doesn't really weigh anything. It feels like nothing. But anyway, that is the story behind this necklace. Okay guys, Target haul. I had to drag some stuff out of my refrigerator, but we are ready. We are whatever, makeup is done, outfit is, I don't know, we might stay in this the rest of the day. However, let's go. So I haven't been to Target in quite some time, but if you have like the Target card or Target circle, whatever, Target card gives you 5% off automatically, but they have this promotion where they loaded 10% onto your account. So 15% off everything you bought pretty much. On top of things that you could also, oh my God, on top of promotions that were also already on like the Target app, as well as pairing things with Ibotta. So I went in and bought some stuff. I have cheese. So I haven't been to Target in a long time, like I said. So is Market Pantry not a thing anymore? So we're doing good and gather, right? So I have cheddar and Monterey, as well as mozzarella and provolone. There was like 20% off on the silk oat milk as well as just you know whatever the other promotion so oat milk i haven't jumped on this train yet i'm about to try it let me know this is the new thing maybe it's not so new anymore if you have transitioned to oat milk let me know do we like it more uh i'm kind of excited to try this so i then went into the home section and i found this vase 14.99 how cute yeah so I might just put like a singular green thing in it. Um, I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. Or just leave it as it is. It's like cute regardless. Wool light, darks, pods. I typically buy the liquid, but there was $2 back on Ibotta and then whatever promotions were at Target. So we'll try this out. I don't know. I'm sure it should be the same as the liquid. Banza pasta again. This is again the penne. And uh, again, there are probably promotions on the Ibotta app for it as well. And then Trident, I think, what, 15% 15, 15 off in general, and then the additional 15 because of the promotion. So the Peppermint Swirl, I don't know. I don't know how much different this will be from their other stuff, but we'll see. So they were doing 10% off on the app for the L'Oreal Feria. So I have one, two, three. Because if you bought three boxes, Target then gave you a $5 gift card. So let's see. So math this very quickly. So each box ended up being about six, over $6, around $6. So $18 for three bottles, three boxes of hair dye and a $5 card back. So I thought that was a good deal. More beauty things. So CoverGirl Waterproof Exhibitionist Mascara. So, or Exhibitionist Uncensored. I like the Exhibitionist, gonna try this one out. I, I used it like a couple times, I'm kind of like, I can't tell. I don't know why, but I can't really tell if it's good or not. Maybe it needs to dry out a little bit more. And then I also got the Maybelline. This is a repurchase, waterproof, cat eyes. Also grabbed this, I think it's a Target brand, made by design. And the acrylic is really nice. I think it's meant to kind of sit in like a system, like there's multiple uh, pieces to this. But I grabbed it because when I'm doing my makeup, I don't know about you guys, the vanity, it's like you clear off your vanity and you make it nice and then by the end of the week, it just looks like a mess again, right? Like, ugh, got places to go in the morning. <laughs> so uh, this one, it's like longer, taller, that's the word. 
and I usually have like concealers, mascara, lip gloss just kind of like strewn about because there's like nowhere to put it. <laughs> so I'm thinking if I can have this on there, maybe I'll, I'll be like, you know, neater and like kind of pop it into here because it's actually tall enough to fit. Sometimes you can like try out like those lipstick holders, but they're like quite short and nothing really sits properly in there except for even lipsticks don't sit that well in there, right? So I'm hoping this will do the trick. There was a slew of the Sonia Kashuk, actually her whole entire line, a lot of the stuff was discounted to like half off. And I haven't really tried her brand since she kind of stopped doing makeup. So this is the Tapered Blending Brush. And this was about six bucks on sale, so that was exciting. It's really nice. I really, really like it. And then this is the Stippling Foundation. I think I got this for around nine bucks. I have finally found something to replace the Eco Tools brush that like I never see anymore. It's from like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I had tried out a Japanese one. The Japanese one is quite good, but this one is a little softer and I love it. I don't use it to stipple foundation. I use it to blend out bronzer, contour situation because I love bronzer. I can be a little heavy handed and I always need to like buff it out so that it doesn't look too intense. And this is an excellent, excellent brush for it. I love it so much. I thought about going back and getting another one. There was two at my Target that were like discounted. And I was like, oh, I should go back and use like that $5 card I had, but then I didn't. And I'm like, you know, it'll, it's fine. It'll go on sale again. But for now, I'm loving this. If you're like me and you need to buff out your face stuff because you are heavy handed, whether it be with blush or powder or whatever, so good. And there's like a really good weight to this one. This one is like very light, but this one, very heavy. And they're really pretty. I mean, you have like these kind of, I don't know, the accents are gorgeous. So that is my Target haul. Uh, and I thought I did pretty good. I got like, a, a good variety of things, yeah? Okay, moving on. 